Welcome to Rod's Tree Tours of the University of Nevada, Reno Arboretum. My name is Rod Hollenbeek, aka The Tree Hunter. I am the host for this tour. This tree tour is called Southeast Benson Garden. It starts at the southeast corner of the Fleischmann Planetarium. To get there, go to the driveway for the Parking Services Building toward Lawler Events Center. Go on the wide gravel path around the planetarium until you get to the top of the steps near the stadium parking garage. It goes to the area left of the wide gravel path and ends about 30 feet from the parking garage entrance and 30 feet from Lawler. Benson Garden was named for Dorothy Benson, who donated Benson Garden in 1946. Since then, there have been a number of landscaping projects here. This tour features a number of uncommonly planted tree species not seen on other tree tours. Much of it is in the woods, which is unusual for UNR trees. There is a pause of two seconds after each tree to let you get to the next tree, but if you haven't yet reached the tree, or if you need a little extra time to locate or contemplate it, please press pause until you are ready, then press play. Okay, let's get started. At number one on the map is a tree with roundish two-inch leaves. This is smoke tree, scientific name Catinus kagajiria, native to Central Europe, China, and the Himalayas. The leaves are roundish on this tree shrub, a plant that could have either a tree or shrub form. It is called smoke tree because the flower heads look like puffs of smoke and last on the tree for a couple of months. The Nevada State Champion is on the In the Medical Atria tree tour. Between the second and third steps at number two in the map is a large conifer with three trunks and drooping branches. This is Norway spruce, scientific name Picea abies, native to central and northern Europe. Its branches tend to droop on each side of the limb, and the limbs tend to droop from the trunk. Near the bottom of the steps is a semi-path to the left, which heads toward a medium conifer about 40 feet away. Left of the path at number three is a conifer with red-brown bark and leaves which are vertical sprays. This is incense cedar, scientific name Calicedrus decurrens. This Sierra Nevada native is not really a cedar, and that's a good example of why I am giving scientific names on my tree tours. It has fan-like branchlets and red-brown fibers and deeply furrowed bark. Its cones are very unusual. They have a central scale with two other scales curving away from it. Please do me a favor and press on the bark. You will notice that it doesn't give. You'll see why I asked a few trees from now. Back to the conifer at number four. This is shore pine, scientific name Pinus contorta contorta, native to the Pacific coast from Washington state to Alaska. It is either a subspecies or variety, depending on who you talk to, of lodgepole pine. It has a contorted form and one inch cones may stay on the tree for years. About 20 feet to its left at number five, is a tree with ruby red to burgundy colored compound leaves. This is ruby lace honey locust, scientific name Ledizia triacanthos ruby lace, a seldom planted cultivar of the Central North American native thornless honey locust. This tree is planted for its leaf color, but is seldom planted. Its leaves come out burgundy to ruby color, but after a while fade to mud brown. Fortunately, the new leaves that come out during the growing season are colorful. Back on the wide gravel path, look to the left to another honey locust cultivar with colorful leaves at number six, sunburst honey locust, scientific name Gladitia triacanthos sunburst. The leaves of this cultivar are bright yellow fading to green, but once again, the new leaves are colorful. This tree has bright yellow fall color. Where the path meets the wide gravel path from the parking lot, go left to a small face-shaped tree with round toothed leaves at number seven. This is Japanese, or saw leaf, Zelkova, scientific name Zelkova serrata, native to China, Korea, Japan, and Manchuria. 
This tree was introduced for sale around 1862. It is a close relative of the elms, but doesn't have their pest problems. It has red, orange, or purple color in good fall seasons. About 15 feet past it is a light green conifer with four inch needles in bundles of five at number eight. This tree is difficult to identify. It doesn't fit the description of any of the more common white pines. It has four inch light green needles and five inch cones. I'm identifying this as Balkan pine, scientific name Pinus puce. It is native to the Balkan Peninsula, the former Yugoslavia. Next to it, at number nine, are three maples. In the middle and farther from the wide gravel path is Big Tooth Maple, scientific name Acer grandidentatum, a native of interior western North America. It grows more slowly than other maples and reaches only small or medium size. Like its close relative, the sugar maple, it has good fall color, golden yellow to red. Its fruits are light brown samaras, winged seeds. On each side is an Amer maple, scientific name Acer genola, a native of China and Japan. It has three inch, three lobed leaves. It is a very tough tree once established and stays less than 25 feet tall. Perhaps its best feature is its abundant red samaras, which flood the tree in summer. It has red, orange, and yellow fall color in the best years. Head toward Lawler on the wide gravel path. Next to the metal fence at number 10 are four crab apples, scientific name Malus sp. There are many cultivars of this tree, and I don't know which one they are. Crab apples are quite popular because of their abundant flowers in spring. Most of the trees become multi-trunked at three or four feet above ground. Continue down this path to the street between the garden and Lawler. Just before the sidewalk is a columnar tree at number 11. This is columnar Freeman maple, scientific name Acer X. Freemani. This hybrid of red maple and silver maple has orange-red fall color and is pest resistant. For these reasons, it is more popularly planted than either parent. This is one of a number of columnar cultivars. Please press pause and cross the street, then head left on the sidewalk. When you get to the large conical conifer next to Lawler at number 12, press play. This is giant sequoia, scientific name Sequoia dendron giganteum, native to the west slope of the Sierra Nevada. Press the trunk, which looks similar to that of mature incense cedars. Surprise! This tree's bark is spongy. The thickness of the trunk in mature trees makes it fire retardant, and the large amount of tannin in the tree makes it insect resistant. These are two of the reasons that giant sequoias may live a couple thousand years. Please press pause and head toward the parking garage entrance. Past some columnar Freeman maples and crab apples is a small conifer with short needles at number 13. Press play. This is Serbian spruce, scientific name Picea omerica, native to Serbia and Bosnia. It grows more slowly than other spruces. Its needles are soft and flat like those of fir, rather than stiff and all around the branch like those of other spruces. This tree's delicate form makes it desirable in some landscapes. Between the turnaround next to the garage entrance, and the lowest retaining wall at number 14 are some trees with silver gray sprays for leaves. These are Arizona cypress, scientific name Cupressus arizonica. This native of the southern parts of New Mexico, Arizona, and California, as well as northern Mexico, might be mistaken for a silver gray juniper, but its cones are larger and have grooves in them. This concludes the Southeast Benson Garden Tree Tour. Thank you for joining me on this tour. If you would like to support the Arboretum, please see the options on the donate link on the UNR Arboretum website.